And I, I did talk about this earlier. We're gonna I'm gonna reiterate some of the things that I did discuss before. But I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed by the ability to double down. Um, <laughs> Way beyond doubling. Yeah, triple, quadrupling, quintupling. I, I don't know. <laughs> whatever. It is well beyond doubling. That's for sure. But it is impressive that they continue to do this. And we're going to we're gonna discuss that here in a bit. I want to say thanks to you all. Alpha Core number one is less than about 1.5K away from 1.2 million. <laughs> uh, so thank you all for all that love and support. And you guys have been uh, showing it's been an incredible campaign and we're a few weeks away before we start talking about spoiler stuff. And I know everybody's excited for that. That's going to be a fun time. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Charmaine Obey Chinoy, <laughs> director of upcoming Star Wars film. And she had some interesting things to say. This was on CNN. This was um, some little, I don't know, special New Year stuff that they were doing. And of course, they were talking to Charmaine here. Now, Charmaine is, uh, she has some interesting things to say. Mm. Uh, we're not going to play the video. I'm not going to have you guys suffer through that again. But I will highlight some of the things it is that she said in this interview. Mm. And by the way, if you watch it, just understanding the context here, guys, this is pretty much mentioned immediately. If you look at the, if you if you watched it live on CNN, which none of you did, uh, but <laughs> the, the little bar at the bottom. Uh, uh, the footer, if you will, it, it all it said was, Hey, first, uh, what woman of color and female director of star, whatever. And then of course they name off a couple of accolades for Academy Awards. Apparently, uh, those had nothing to do with this type of entertainment, by the way, and everything oh. like some documentary stuff or something like yeah. that. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, they introduced her. And one of the first things she's like talking about is this first statement. So this first statement wasn't buried into the interview. It was like when she appeared on screen, this was what she said. And again, I'm reading this from Deadline, but it did come from CNN. So having an, ac an iconic franchise in her hands uh, thrills the filmmaker. As she says, it was about time a woman took the reins of a project in Star Wars universe. And this is the exact quote. I'm very thrilled about the project because I feel what we're about to create is something very special. We're in 2024 now, and it's mm. about time that we mm. had a woman come forward to shape a story in a galaxy far, far away. The rest of the interview she continues on talking about some of the, some activism stuff, which is how they introduced her filmmaker and active activist. Um, so that's very important. And mm. goes on to talk about Pakistan and all that stuff. So, look, I'm impressed, as I said before, because, you know, I guess us as people that are on YouTube and we do these videos, we kind of keep keep, you know, a hand on the pulse of the industry. Right. It's kind of I don't, I don't call it a job, but it's more or less what it is that people are doing. So things that seem so obvious may not seem that obvious to them. But I would figure, at least now, considering the era around this type of stuff that forces female, all that shit, that didn't work out, okay? Uh, and you would think that they would go into this the next year making some adjustments. And it doesn't seem like they're making any adjustments whatsoever. In fact, it's like they're still operating as if it's 2016. Uh, so they haven't changed anything. Uh, that memo has not been got. So I know people have talked about Bob Iger. Uh, saying things like, hey, we never involved wanted to be involved in in a culture war stuff and all that. Well, nothing is stopped here. Definitely when you understand how this type of stuff works and people on the uh, like campaign trail, they're talking about various things. They have their list of topics that they can and cannot talk about and discuss. So if you don't think that they highlighted this on purpose, you're crazy. Uh, this was something that they wanted to lead with. They wanted to lead with the fact that she was person of color first whatever um and they made up a fake record for it did you hear that where they were like first what did they say it was like the first filmmaker first female filmmaker it's like what espn does for you guys that want mm. or they do this shit all the time it was the first female filmmaker to win two academy awards before the age of 37 it's one of those fake stats that like if you watch sports they do that type of stuff all <laughs> All the time, the first uh, this is the first uh, person to dunk a basketball under the yeah. mark, and the, like and they do all that type of stuff. So it's uh it's a very, very, very similar thing. 
And then they gave her the accolades. It's, it's, accolades have nothing to do with this. It's more to do with with um, activism and, and, other, and other stuff. And that nothing to do with like the entertainment element of it. But I have to ask you, ask. Mm. I don't know if you looked in. I haven't looked much into 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 Charmaine. I, w- I for sure want to get your thoughts on this whole ordeal. Oh, I have. Oh, thank you. That, that's why we have you here. <laughs> so, okay, I ask you this, and then I'm going to let you kind of do what you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Has this person, mm. considering this is Lucasfilm, Star Wars, right? Big brand, yada, yada. Has this person done anything of the likes that leads you to believe that they were hand-selected because they were the right person for the job? Yeah, don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> Come on now. There's a, there's a few massively telling things here. First of all, we're talking about Star Wars, okay? We're not we're not talking about uh, her documentaries on um, oppressed women in uh, Middle Eastern countries or anything like that. We're talking about Star Wars. Q pews in space. Where's this interview taking place? CNN. <laughs> you get it? That's a good point. This is this has got nothing to do with Star Wars. They don't give a fuck. She doesn't give a fuck. Kathleen Kennedy doesn't give a fuck. It's just like the comic book industry. It's all for optics. It's all to just get press headlines. Wheel her out. Let's wheel her out. And she's quite happy to be wheeled out as their new prize. Now, in terms of they haven't got the memo, she was actually announced as somebody who is going to do something in Star Wars a while ago. So it looks like they were trying to find, I won't say the right project, because I'm going to play devil's advocate in a moment, but a project for her. Now let's play devil's advocate. Let's say what she's saying is actually an element of truth in it. Let's just say it is about time a woman directed Star Wars. I mean, I don't know how Leslie Headland feels about all of this, considering she's got a whole fucking show coming out, but never mind, that's that's by the by. Neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. (laughs) Let's just say there's a kernel of truth in what she's saying. It's about time a woman comes in and directs a Star Wars film. Sweetheart, you ain't her. You ain't even close to her. You're not even in the right field, genre, type of of who's required uh, from a capacity uh, for the capacity. You're a documentary maker. Uh, I've been through your your history. There is nothing there whatsoever that even hints that you should be anywhere near a film, never mind near a science fiction film uh, on what used to be, because now it's had a colossal fall of grace, uh, one of the biggest franchise, if not the biggest franchise on planet Earth. Uh, Clown World doesn't... I mean, we've, we're so far beyond Clown World. It's We're in Clown Universe, you know? We're in Clown Solar System. You have got a woman who doesn't deserve this position who's going to do a movie about the woman who destroyed the fucking franchise. (laughs) Who's been given the role by the woman who destroyed Star Wars. (laughs) And it's about time we had more women. No, you know what? You need to get fucking women out the fuck of there immediately. And I don't mean, I don't, you know, women, you know, I love you tits and all but they're not showing in any shape way or form that they are remotely competent to do the jobs which they've been given never mind make a film just the roles that they've been given but that's disney and i've always stressed disney they will die on this hill forget what bob Iger says bob Iger said this before he's full of shit yeah <laughs> so don't don't listen to a fucking word he said he'll say one thing and in order to play, the only reason why he said what he said was in, is to try and play uh, sh- shareholders. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the only reason. If the shareholders heal, oh, okay, they're, they're going to focus more on the, yeah. But is he? No. Is Disney? No. Not going to do any of that whatsoever. I cannot wait for this film to come out. <laughs> and I never watched The Rise of Sky Poker. I've got no interest in whatsoever. But I am going to be queued up first in the pouring rain outside 
waving my cash at the box office. Woman, take my money. Take it right now. Where would you like to sit? In everywhere. That's where I'd like to sit. Popcorn planted between my legs. Just there like that. I'm going to make a fortune, Eric. <laughs> oh, you are. I'm going to have a swimming pool for my swimming pool. That's for sure. I guess that's the positive thing to come out of that, is that it's going to make a lot of uh, people rich that have nothing to do with Disney or Lucasfilm. Um, Never mind the face that launched a thousand ships. This is going to be the film that launched a thousand fucking clips. <laughs> a thousand careers. <laughs> Alpha Core number one's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett, visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.